here. Oh, it says you are live. Oh, now. I'm uh, live, not you. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, welcome I... to my channel, guys. Uh, this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when did this happen? Did you buy my channel out? I I bought your channel, Jay. It's now mine. Uh, Where'd you get the ten dollars to buy my channel? You said <laughs> I take over. <laughs> you do what I say, bitch. <laughs> oh man. Damn okay. It. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the first order? Do I have to like you know? Jerk you off a little. <laughs> Go punch yourself a bunch of times and then uh, rub your nipple a few times. Uh, and... These are not, these, are, these aren't good. These, these are, <laughs> I do this every day. I'm okay Ryan, with this. Say Ryan O'Toole is the best YouTube movie reviewer ever. Ryan O'Toole is the best YouTube movie reviewer ever. Hey yeah. guys. Hey uh, guys. Hey. Welcome to my channel, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, is, Ryan O'Toole has joined me for a little live Q&A. Instead of uh, Lindsay, Lindsay's at work now, so I wanted my boy Ooh, Ryan O'Toole. you got the day off. Huh? I got the day off. She did not. She she even texted me. She did me. not. <laughs> I did not. Oh, hi, uh, Jay. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Tommy. Uh, but... I want to do like Q&A with someone, so who better to do it than with uh, Sean Chandler? But he said no, so Ryan no tools here. <laughs> <laughs> He's the door in a way. Um, uh, hi, 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 everybody. I'm ready to answer questions and party. <laughs> Ryan, that's not your real accent. Give me your real accent. Real, <laughs> real accent here. I'm Batman. I'm there Ryan. you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's I'm, wearing, the... I'm wearing hockey pads. <laughs> Me too. Jock strap. Are off. you? Oh, yeah. stand up then. Oh. oh <laughs> I don't want to do that because I'm wearing pajama pants right now, so it look a little weird. <laughs> okay. I'm wearing, I'm wearing pajama pants. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, Christmas pajama pants. It's not even Christmas time. Damn, bro. I don't know why I'm doing it. I, I don't know. I felt because uh, Jay's Canadian. He celebrates. Yeah. <laughs> All Canadians celebrate Christmas every day. He's That's how early. <laughs> we celebrate Christmas every single every day. Yeah. Is Christmas. Every day is Christmas. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's say hi to everyone. Hey, David. Two thousand. You know uh, you yeah. can. You know you can click on the people's comments, right? And do you do I, do I want to though? Do they deserve it though? Do they deserve? <laughs> do they deserve? <laughs> How about that? See, there, there you go. go. <laughs> David two thousand. He just stays up there the whole time. That's yeah. it. Just David two thousand. David two thousand. David two thousand. He's 2000. the real deal. Yeah, yeah. You're the lucky one. You're the first person to comment. That means you're staying up there the whole time. The whole time. That's right. Yeah. No, fuck you. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi, Gavin. Uh, Hey Mason, hey guys. Uh, I'm not a guy. I am a robot. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Stranger boy, a boy, not not boy. It's boy, boy, one hey, on one. It's, it's not boys, boy. It's boy one on one, boy. Uh, uh, him. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? Yo, guy. what's up? Yo, David, uh, how would you rate El Camino right now? Right now, right, right fucking right, now. Right now. Right now. What's your right now grade? Well, you go first, right? You're the fucking guest. Okay. I thought it was my channel. Okay. Um it's not your channel. Fuck <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> I'm the best. Um so El Camino, um, what did I give it last time? I think I gave it an A minus. So I'm, I'm stick with that A minus. I really liked El Camino. I yeah, uh, El Camino. El Camino is a really good movie. I loved it actually. Uh, I'd probably give like a nine point five. I, I, I gave like a, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It's a great movie. I haven't watched it again, but that the, 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 the thing that makes sense is you do the Breaking Bad uh, marathon. You watch Better Call Saul first, which I yeah. haven't watched yet. Me uh, <laughs> Breaking, Breaking Bad, I mean, watching that show for the first time, what an experience, dude. And then I watched it again with my mom and then watched El Camino again after. It's just a great marathon. Yeah. I watched Breaking Bad when it was on TV, when it was on AMC. I wish I was you. <laughs> yeah, that's how old I am. <laughs> I couldn't survive the season five, though. How could you manage to wait a year to find out what happens? That's crazy. 
This is how. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how you survive. <laughs> Deep into the film score. Hey, how's it going, man? How's it going, man? Hey, buddy. Hello. Uh, Ryan O'Toole is the best YouTuber. What? At least he gets it. What? He understands... He understands what you gotta do. <laughs> I am offended. If right you now. want your channel back, <laughs> like I'm the best YouTuber. Fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm at school. Shh. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. We're in a quiet place right now. We just keep it quiet. We're gonna do the Q&A like this. We're gonna, We're gonna answer questions. I am Chase a piece. Chase a piece of shit. So, fuck you. Fuck you. Bitch. Yeah, yeah. Join the dark side. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Anyway. Um, uh. Great meeting you Thursday. He uh, yeah, was on your Q and A, wasn't he? He was. He was the lucky winner. He was the Price is Right winner. He was. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me some dirt on him. Uh, what did he? Uh, what kind of stuff do you got on him? Uh, he said some comments about you, you know. I, I don't know if it was positive or day. I'm just kidding. Uh, it was great to have Spongy on, uh, answer questions. Uh, one of my most loyal subscribers always is in the live streams, always is in the comment section. Yo. I heard from a very unreliable source that he works for the mob. So He's actually uh, Michael Corleone's great-grandson. So he's the real deal. It's got to be true because you're saying it, so it has to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the Godfather, Spongy? Probably, yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right. Mason says, "Jay, I heard you hated the live-action Mulan movie." <laughs> oh, did you? What's? How did what? he know? <laughs> uh, Damn! Did he hack into your uh, Facebook account or something, or to YouTube? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I yeah. I I actually just shot that video. I have to edit it though, but I shot it just today actually because I just got back this morning. Because I've been out of town for almost a week, so I can only um, imagine what your custom thumbnail is going to be. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah. But uh, I don't want to say anything because I, I I have it all in the video, so <laughs> stay tuned to that. No, I didn't like it though. Just yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, I liked it though. <laughs> oh, I know you did, you bitch. I did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brian. Was that French or German, Ryan? <laughs> the accent you were saying. <laughs> um, it? It's actually not. Um, it's Cambodian, actually. Cambodian. <laughs> I thought. I thought it was Tommy Wiseau. Whatever yeah, totally. the, Cambodian. Whatever you know, that is. Fun fact: Tommy Wiseau is Cambodian. <laughs> He's from New Orleans, Cambodia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's uh, representing. <laughs> Uh, the Winter Soldier is the best MCU movie, probably. Do you agree with these words? Uh, no, no. I think Iron Man Two is the best, easily. I think, uh, no, uh, no. The best is Batman and Robin. Best MCU. Ooh, oh, movie. that's an MCU movie. It is an MCU movie. Uh, wow. I have a source. Me, Iron Man. You're about to freeze. Ah. <laughs> Um, I love it. David 2000 says Winter Soldier's the best, but he has a picture of Endgame. So, yeah. Then, so, mm, mm, you, well, you might want to change your profile pic. Suspicious. Yeah. Mm, That's a suspicious mm. word. Um, the Winter best MC, uh, Winter Soldier, it's actually my uh, third favorite MC. Me too. It's definitely in my top three. Um, Endgame, your profile pick is my favorite. Endgame. Yep. Me too. Yeah. Endgame. Endgame. Endgame, Civil War, Winter Soldier. Endgame, Infinity War, Winter Soldier. Fuck you, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Um, okay, grades for the New Mutants, Tenet, and Bill and Ted J. Uh, so this is you because you didn't review any of these yet. I've seen all but the New Mutants. I haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it. I don't know if I will uh, see it because I don't know if I give a fuck. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, 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 okay, I'll say Bill and Ted. You know, I shot the review. I give Bill and Ted an eight. I think it was a great movie. Actually, I really enjoyed Bill and Ted. Yeah. Uh, it's nowhere near as good as the first one. I I don't think it's even in the same. I think Bill and Ted one's a ten out of ten. I think that movie's amazing. I have a picture of Bill and Ted over there. Uh, but it's better than Bogus Journey. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I like yeah, it a easily, lot. Anything. 
Fair it's enough. a feel good movie. It makes you feel good watching it. Like uh, we're in a tough times now, so <clears throat> it, it feels makes you good. smile. Yeah, it, it's good to have a good laugh. It's good to have a good laugh watching the movie. And Alex Winter was great yeah. in the movie. I was shocked because he hasn't done a movie in so long, and I was glad to see Alex Winter <laughs> in a movie. And uh, oh, and the, uh, Samara Samara Weaven and Bridget Payne. Uh, Death is back as their daughters. Yeah. Uh, I also love the he robot. Might be my parent. The robot kind of killed me. He was pretty funny. Uh, but I give it like an eight out of ten. Uh, Tenet. Oh my lord! I haven't reviewed it oh, yet. No. I haven't even reviewed it. Uh, I liked it, but Did I you... didn't. I didn't love it though. Uh, I think it's uh... all right. Here's my question: Are you gonna rewatch it? Yeah. I didn't. My question was. Co- so Colin Williams, he hated it first yeah. time. He watched it again last night, loved it. Um, so it's one of those movies, it, it might turn around for you on second viewing. I get it. It is all out confusing. I still haven't seen it again. But I don't know, man. I loved it. I mean, it's a huge, gigantic puzzle. And I love puzzles. So Christopher Nolan is the genius of puzzle movies. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to dive into with Tenet. But I absolutely loved it. Uh, I was gonna give it a six point five, but uh, maybe I'll see it again. Uh, I haven't. Re- I didn't. Re- I shot like four videos this morning. Tenant was not one of them because I didn't know. I just didn't know what to talk about because it's hard to like, review first viewing. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want to spoil it because I just wanted to rant about things that made no fucking <laughs> sense. But uh, I don't know. I- I'll maybe try to see it again. Uh, but yeah. Tenet is a weird movie. That's just, to say the least, it's a very weird movie. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, it's September. No, it's not. It's December. It's, yeah, it's January it's- again. <laughs> January still, because of the year we're in. Yeah. Canadian gang, Richard. Oh, you live in Canada, Richard? Where from? Uh, represent. Represent the Canadian, eh? Uh, hello. Uh Bye. Uh, hello. <laughs> bye bye. Hey. What's up? 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 Uh, thoughts on Fate and the Furious and Hobbs and Shaw. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like either of them. <laughs> mm, uh, I have a thing with the Fast and Furious franchise. It grinds my gears so much that and I, I hate the just the physics of these movies, but I love it at the same time. Uh, both of these movies are perfect representations of that. I is, really enjoy Hobbs and Shaw by how stupid that movie really is. But yeah, Fate of the Furious is awful, but I love just the dumbness of that whole entire film. So, um, Do you remember when they actually were just street racing movies and now they're superhero movies? Exactly. <laughs> so they so changed weird. the formula completely. That's like... Uh... That's like making John Wick into a superhero. Like it used to be like a very serious movie. Now John Wick is flying and stuff. I'm like, what? Yeah, they changed the formula. Fast yeah. and Furious were actually serious movies, and how they're not at all. And I don't know. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like them. I I actually don't mind Fast Five, and I like the first one, but I didn't I mind know. Fast Five. Like Fast Five took it a little more seriously. Yeah. Um. Even though it's just a dumb action heist movie but yeah. still i think the franchise just makes so much money people love them they love vin diesel talking about family no there's Lord. i think i just think the franchise is not the same without paul walker i, I think he was the heart and soul of these movies i think he was the only talent to do <laughs> <laughs> uh hi jay and ryan how's it going man uh hi. pixar and disney you like dreamworks as well pixar and he disney. loves wreck it i think wreck it rouse's favorite movie uh, I have no. a very strong Monsters, Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, Thanos, Thanos is watching oh, us. No. Please don't oh, snap us out of existence. Don't kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> I loved I sl- you in the movie. I slept with your wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like your daughter, Gamora. <laughs> Scott. Uh, hey, robot. I missed you. Forgot the password to my old account. Oh, 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 I'm a ro- we're robots now, Jay. Yeah. Favorite airplane. Airplane joke. is that a movie? I didn't know that. Is that a comedy? It is. It is. Have you seen uh, Airplane? 
airplane or airplane? I have not actually. You haven't seen. Uh, it's a it's a very funny movie. It's like a satire of airports and stuff. Uh, my favorite part is the Saturday Night Fever satire, <clears throat> but the classic is uh, he's like, surely you can't be serious. I am always serious, but don't call me Shirley. <laughs> like that's a good one. It's classic. Um, Richard, what are your thoughts on the Phantom Menace? Phantom Menace? Wow. Phantom. Phantom. Menace. Phantom. Phantom Menace or the Phantom? Um, Menace? that's the obscure Star Wars movie that never existed. Um, uh, uh, Phantom uh, Menace is a completely meh. Movie, <laughs> it's uh, meh. It's just meh. I like Darth Maul. Yeah, I, like I mean, I like it more than Rise of Skywalker now. Um, I love yeah. Darth Maul. Um, la, la, la. I Darth love uh, Ewan you, you McGregor. I love Liam Neeson as uh, Qui Gon. Oh well, yeah, I'm losing my mind because I'm talking about Brandon and Hassan. It's uh, fun. It's, it's John, John William. John William score is good. John William score is amazing. <laughs> it's just. It had potential to be great, but it's just full of Senate meetings that I don't give two fucks about. Yeah, the best part of the whole movie is the fight between the three of them at the end of the movie. That's the best oh, yeah. Part. Easy. Like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, actually, my favorite part of the whole movie is when the red lasers come up. Oh, yeah, and that was my favorite part, too. It's the best part of the... and the Because it, it, it's good representation of, like, who each character is. Like, yeah. uh, you know who the villain is, you know who the pad one is, and you know who the master is. Because Qui-Gon is he's calm, he's meditating, and Ewan McGregor kind of looks like nervous and scared, and Darth Maul's like pissed off. And, and, like, oh, it's I so love, good. It's so a good. great scene because I'm like, I wish the whole movie had great scenes like this, but they didn't. Yeah, George <laughs> Lucas is a visual genius. You saw with New Hope, he knows how to do visual storytelling, but he'd rather show us uh, 30 minutes of Senate meetings. And Jar Jar stepping in the pool. And Jar Jar Binks. Mr. Jar Jar Binks. Oh, wow. You know, I feel like George Lucas did learn from his mistake because he put less and less Jar Jar in the movies because I felt like he knew he fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, exactly. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Stranger Boy, are you going to watch The Babysitter 2? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. I didn't see the first one. I so, did. Yeah. I saw it late. Like, I saw it like six months after it came out. So I did. Was Kamara Weaving? Yeah, it's good, but I don't love it though. I, I thought it was fine. She was good, but eh. anyways, uh, how would you rate Sonic on a scale of one to ten? Uh, uh Sonic. Um I'd probably say six and a half to seven. Um, I enjoyed it more than I thought. The reshoots definitely helped this movie for sure. I love Jim Carrey in the movie. He's just G classic Jim Carrey. Uh, some of the story was kind of boring, um, but I enjoyed it. Probably six and a half or seven. I'm not sure. Yeah, I kind of in the same boat. I like I liked aspects. Uh, visuals were pretty good. Uh, I gave it a six. Jim Carrey is probably the standout of the movie. So yeah, uh, the movie yes, uh, sure. What about the movie no? Sure. What, no is a great movie too. Give that some love. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's maybe <laughs> maybe the sequel. Uh, Steven, uh, <laughs> question: Do you Jay Vader still collect Blu-rays? I do. Ooh. I do. I still. You do. Where are they? Uh, are they? they're they're over there. You can't see where I'm pointing. Damn it! I can't see. <laughs> uh, I have a huge Blu-ray shelf uh, on the top of uh, it. Goes across my entire wall of my room. So it's basically Blu-rays doing like a big circle around my room. So that's how I have it done. Uh, so there's part of my Blu-rays right there, and I have another shelf over there, and another stack up there. What's your most recent? Um, what's your most recent Blu-ray? To be honest, I think it was. Hang on, oh. I gotta get some. Oh, now that he's leaving, Ryan is a bitch. Ryan is a bitch. Ryan is a bitch. Fuck you, Ryan. Fuck you, Ryan. Ryan is a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're just staring at me. Awkward. You missed so, miss nothing important. So I only picked up three. I didn't do a Blu-ray haul last month because I only got three because that would have been a short, boring video. I uh, picked up Moneyball, Ted 1 and 2, and The Upside with Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. Moneyball. 
Great movie, Moneyball. I love that movie. <clears throat> yeah. Very good movie. Very good movie. It's why don't really you good. like why don't you like Moneyball, Ryan? Like, come on now. <laughs> I don't know. There wasn't enough Boston Red Sox in it. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a great movie. Uh, Jay, you are the most underrated YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, dude, perfect. I am perfect in every way. Oh, oh, the YouTube channel. Have you watched the Dude Perfect YouTube? Oh, channel? I thought you were saying, dude, you're perfect. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Well, that. Why would you take that away from me, Ryan? <laughs> I thought I was perfect. Because you're not perfect. <laughs> I thought I was perfect in every sense of the word. Why would you do this? I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm perfect. Okay. <laughs> Have you guys seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? No. No. I watched the first episode when it first came on television. And I couldn't stand it, <laughs> so I never. Yeah, watched it I just, yet. I just never got any curiosity to check it out. Um, yeah. I heard it's not that great as the Marvel movies that we make. Yeah. Uh, I, I like TV shows, but that's not one I could get into. Uh, imagine if Sean Chandler did join. Um, he, uh, if only we could invite him. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to because you know. He has a restraining order on both of us. Yeah, he's afraid of, uh, yeah, he's afraid to go near Jay. Jay yeah. can be kind of a wild animal sometimes. I killed his dog, so what? So he, he's going to come out for vengeance against Jay. Uh, okay, I get it. We have to be quiet because we are in a quiet place. Yeah, shh. We have to be quiet or else we're going to die. Honestly, Ryan, if a quiet place existed, how long would you stay alive for? Uh, uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would I'd probably, probably last. I probably last a week, and then I'd probably just fuck it to be like, nah, fuck this shit. <laughs> no, I'm very clumsy, and if I drop something, I'd be dead. <laughs> uh, do you guys like Beavis and Butthead? Yes, I do. I grew up with Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Not really. No, really, I, wasn't my thing. Hi, Beavis. How many bucks? Beavis and butthead. But what? I bet when he's a dog, he licks his own nut sack. Uh, I love it. Uh, we got. Hi. Hi. How's it going? You have Hi. Simpson? I'm a big Hi, Simpson. bye. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Oh, uh, Richard. Uh, have you been to the Cineplex in Vaughn? Wow. Okay. He lives close wow. to me. I have been to Cineplex in Vaughn. Canadian he question. Yeah, he actually, I think he lives close to me. Uh, I have been in Simplex and Vaughn. Uh, I don't go to it very often because I don't he live. knows where you Vaughan. live, Jay. So he's trying to hunt you down. Ooh. So I live in Barrie, Ontario. That's where I live. That's where I live. Duck! <laughs> Chris, uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, nothing's going on. We're just chilling. What's going down? What's going down? <laughs> All right, the Todd flashback should have never worked in El Camino, but it, but it did. This movie gives me vibes from The Godfather Part Two. Interesting. Oh, Interesting. First of all, Todd is a piece of shit. He's creepy. But that <clears throat> that character is evil as hell. But uh, great, great character. All Imagine around. having um, a neighbor like him. That'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, that's just weird. How he was so fat. Uh, he gained a lot of weight. Uh, Jesse Plemons. So it wasn't as realistic, but it still worked pretty well. I enjoyed it. Boop. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not at school. I'm on oh online school. Oh, because of oh, COVID. COVID, yeah, yeah. Um, because uh, Lindsay's in her final year of college, and it's all online. It's all online. So I yeah. get it. It's very dangerous to bring people back into school, but um, in Canada, I don't know if it's the same in the United States, but they're opening elementary schools up. Uh, yeah, I know Florida, too, is doing certain days in school and online. It just makes total sense to go online because I yeah. would not want to be in a school or anything. I don't understand why they're opening elementary schools because even though kids, uh, they can still get the virus, but they don't have like a lot of symptoms, but they can carry the virus. So so, I, think that, I don't think that's very safe, personally. They want to keep older teachers elderly at home, like not working at all because they are the ones that can get the virus easily. So. Of course. 
Uh, Interstellar is one of the best Nolan movies. That's a hot take. Ooh, that is a hot take. I actually did my Nolan ranking most recently, and that was the hardest video I ever had to do. Um, Interstellar is great. I really like that movie. However, the final act is shit compared to the first two. Um, just there's a lot of epic moments. Anything space in that movie was great. But Matthew, Matt Damon as Doctor Man, ugh, not I don't like that. No. And the the paradoxes and Cooper finding Murph hundred years later, she sends him away to go see Anne Hathaway. I wasn't a fan of the ending of Interstellar. I just, I don't like that movie in general. I I like Matthew McConaughey. I like the visuals. I like Jessica Chastain and John Lithgow's performances. That's probably I it. really like the first two acts though. I mean, I love the setup of Earth, you know, cornfields and all that. Yeah. It's got Nolan isms. Love Matthew McConaughey in that movie, but the final act wasn't great. I think it's his worst movie, personally. I, I can't Ooh, remember. I disagree. I think following is his worst movie. I but even think following is more enjoyable because at least following is only an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a bad Christopher Nolan movie, just yeah. there's other films I like more. All right, hey Jay, do you how would you rate Mulan? I can't tell you until the I can't tell you until the video. <laughs> I can't can... wait for that extreme rant. <laughs> yeah. Uh uh, me too. I was in Utah for a week. Utah. 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 Salt Lake City. Yeah, Utah Jazz. Say hi to Ruby Gobert for me. <laughs> uh, I saw the comments of Ryan's. Oh, so that's how you know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Creeper. I'm just <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh. I actually am Denis Villeneuve's brother. Spongy I know Villeneuve. Uh, what's he gonna do with Dune? Uh, what's gonna yeah. be in the trailer tomorrow? Are you gonna be in the movie? Is it cameo? Is it a twist? Are you Timothy Chalamet's brother? Makes sense. I need to know these things. <laughs> They're all related. Everyone in Hollywood's related. They're all yeah. brothers. They're all sisters. They're all everything. Yeah. Uh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> uh, Andy. Although The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker are both ridiculous and absurd, would you say The Rise of Skywalker is a bit better? I personally think it's more fun and entertaining. Interesting. A hundred percent disagree. Uh, Rise of Skywalker is my worst Star Wars movie by far on multiple rewatches. Yeah. Um, it's an awful movie. I mean, it's not on the actors at all. Um, it's completely on the writing team and the people creating it. Uh, they had no plan. Uh, they just started from scrap, like, hey, let's start off and not even think what we want to do for these movies. And it paid off because it wasn't a good movie. Yeah. Um, I love Rise of Skywalker. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay's review of it. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I think Rise of Skywalker is awful. Probably the worst Star Wars movie I've seen. Last Jedi I used to I used to fucking love that movie, but I don't know. I just I've grown. I actually do them. like Last Jedi, but yeah. it's gone down on rewatches. But just Rise know. of Skywalker felt like a, a last minute idea. Like, all right, mm -hmm. we need something to do with this movie. Let's just bring Palpatine back last second, and let's make him raise grandfather. That's how she's so powerful in a in a. Mary yeah. Sue in these movies. Yeah. And then at the oh, end, of it, she's like, I'm Skywalker. I'm like, what? I'm Ray Skywalker. Oh, no, oh my God. Come on. She could have said, I'm Ray Palpatine and take the, the name of Palpatine and make it good. But no. <laughs> and then no. strikes the lightning and kills that lady. Like, come on. Own that name. There's a lot of things I hate. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, have you guys seen Unhinged? Uh, I have not. No. <laughs> I, I was in a. I was in a lot of pain that week. I didn't want to go to a theater. I was scared. Um, so I went to New Mutants instead. So unhinged, I have not. I love I, Russell. I love Russell Crowe too much to see it. <laughs> I heard it's like Steven Spielberg's duel. Uh, apparently a killer driver goes to kill goes after a, a driver of another car. I really like Duel. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's his first movie, it's a great one. Uh, would you consider Scott Pilgrim versus the World perfect? I would say perfect, but it's a great fucking movie. I love that fucking really movie. enjoyable film. Honestly. Really enjoyed that movie. It's almost like a video game and a comic book put into one into a, yeah. a movie. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> you got like, like, the scoreboards. He gets like a life in the movie. It's awesome. And it's you have Chris great. Evans as Lucas. So great. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, my favorite actually, Evil X, is Todd. 
Superman himself, Brandon Ralph. I love him in that movie for some reason because he's just yeah, so he's sp- great. Uh, all right, R- R- Richard. MOS and BVS Ultimate are awesome films. Um, I agree with one. I disagree one you, with the other. Which one do you agree uh, with? I agree with Man of Steel. I, that's wow. my favorite Superman movie. I think it's a masterpiece. Uh, BVS Ultimate Edition. It's fine. It's not. It's slightly better than the theatrical, but I don't love that. Superman. I think it's got flaws to it. But uh, Man of Steel, 100% agree. I know you don't. <laughs> no. I don't like either of them. I, I think they both suck. But uh, anyways. Uh, New Mutants was disappointing and underwhelming. I've heard that. I actually I disagree. I actually I disagree. I didn't hate New Mutants, but it's a very forgettable movie. I do agree. I, I At least with... It took three years. This is a long process. It was supposed to come out in 2018, and now it's coming out this year. I thought it would be much worse, but I actually didn't hate it. It was average. Okay. Average. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll see it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm picking and choosing what movies. They should not have released it in theaters, though. They should have released on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, Disney I, I would watch it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rennie, have you seen the movie A Thousand Words with Eddie Murphy? I have! Of course Shit. you have. It's awful. I, am, I have not. It's literally about uh-huh. him. It's Eddie Murphy in the movie, and he gets cursed or something, and he's only allowed to say a thousand words, and then he'll die after he says a thousand words. It's ridiculous. It's it's fucking stupid. Well, I want to watch it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to watch it now. Spoilers: he he doesn't die in the end. It's a family movie. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Best Eddie Murphy movie ever is Beverly Hills Cop and Trading Places. They're the greatest. I love them. Um, Mr. Oh, shit. Sorry. I fucked up. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I really need to see Tenet. It looks amazing. Uh, I wouldn't call it amazing, but definitely see it. Have your own opinion. Go see it. It's amazing. If your theaters are open, definitely see this movie. In IMAX. Yeah. In IMAX. If, however, if you don't want to risk it, you don't have to. Like, if you don't want to. Like, I totally uh, grades for Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> 1, 2, 3. That's the grades. Uh, Iron Man 1, uh, I do uh, I do a, I do letter grades now. So Iron Man's definitely an A+. Plus. Um, Iron Man 2, uh, C-. Minus. I, don't, I won't go in the Ds. At least I enjoyed Robert Downey Jr. at times and War Machine 2. So I'll go C-. Minus. And Iron Man 3, I'd actually go B minus. I like it more. All right. First Iron Man, 9.2. Second one, 3.4. Iron Man 3, very underrated. I'd give it a 7.9. I I enjoy that movie. It's pretty good. It's Shane Black. Yeah, it's Uh, Shane Black. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, Zach Pulp is in the building. Zach. Hey, buddy. Uh, You know, it's been a long time since I've seen Zach. You both are amazing. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, uh, Zach. I appreciate that. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't actually talked to Zach in quite some time, and uh, maybe one day we'll get together, Zach. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta get him on the podcast, the Fallen for Film podcast. Yeah, we should all just get together. We should all have- just do an episode or on a fresh matchup again. I don't know. <laughs> then you lose again. <laughs> uh, around our fresh rematch. I don't know. I haven't studied Ron Tavares' score for so long. I probably suck ass at it. Yeah, so. you'll get one goddamn percent again. Uh, have you ever thought about movie scripts? Writing movie scripts? I have wrote many. I have wrote many. I almost made a movie, but then COVID hit and fucked everything up. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it does that. It crushes your dreams, especially COVID twenty twenty. Um, yeah. ever since I saw the Social Network and other of these amazing screenplay movies, it's gotten me inspired to want to write stuff. Um, but I've come invested in reviewing movies. Um, a film like The Social Network really inspired me to want to write stuff. But yeah. if it came to a film like Tenet, like I saw most recently, I'm like, I'm maybe I'm not made for this. Uh, I just let the other guys do it. Yeah. Uh, Grace for Thor 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thor 1. Uh, what did I give Thor 1? Let me, let me get Probably be minus. I enjoyed it. All right. For um, the Dark the- World, you're going to give it... Uh, D. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Psychic. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. I'll go D. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait a minute. I gave Iron Man 2 a C minus, and that's my least favorite. So C minus for Thor uh, the Dark World. 
That's my second to least favorite. All right, and uh, Thor Ragnarok, A minus. That's one of my favorites, top ten. Thor one is pretty good. It's Kanthrana. I give it a seven point seven. It's pretty enjoyable. Uh, Thor: The Dark World is like a five. I think that movie's pretty boring. Uh, at least Loki's in it. At least Loki's yeah, he's the only thing that I like about it basically. And at least uh, Endgame kind of made up with the Frigga stuff. So I actually like Malekith is the best villain though, easily. <laughs> easily, um, he beats Thanos. He's very memorable. I uh, wiped so out good. the world. He's the most compelling character. Intimidating, or... awesome villain. I know everything about him. Everything. <laughs> yeah, he was from here. Just amazing. Amazing. Yeah, part. yeah. Um, or that line he did, uh, you know. It, the, I the... will w wipe out the Asgardians. Yeah. So menacing. Remember the line. So good. <laughs> okay, guys. So good. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ragnarok. I'd give it a, a 10 almost. It's my fifth favorite MCU film. It's I a really good I love it. I think it's hilarious. It's easy. It's like the only like MCU film that's like a straight comedy. It's just straight comedy. It's fucking. Hilarious. And it doesn't. It knows exactly what it is. Uh, it's people funny. say it's overrated and focuses a lot on comedy. It knew exactly what it was. Yeah. Taiko Waititi is that director, and I can't wait for Thor: Love and Thunder. I I. I know you want. <laughs> no, no, I, uh, have you thought about writing your own movie? Well, I just kind of talked about that. So. Well, did we talk about this? Um, I'm, I'm not, maybe I'm not made for it. We'll show soon. All right. Uh, Paladin Butters. Uh, when did you guys start? Uh, the, the video or just general in YouTube? Yeah, the video, we started about, yeah, we started 36 minutes ago. 36 minutes. Uh, were you talking about YouTube? YouTube, I started. Minutes. I started at YouTube okay. in early 2015. That's when I started. Yeah, I saw your first video. Oh, it's awful. It's so bad. What a journey. What a journey. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, my God. Watch the editing. Oh, my God. It's oh, oh my. Uh, uh, editing uh, is awful. <laughs> so bad. I'm uh, like, who's this guy? He's a character. <laughs> also, uh, yeah. when I started YouTube, I talked... Uh, almost too much with my hands because I wanted to be expressive. So I'm talking like this. So I like this movie and it's like so good guys and oh this movie's so hard. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's good. I love it. It's so good. I give this movie a nine out of ten. I'm like, what the fuck? What, am I <laughs> what is this guy? Like, I'm trying to be wise. Is this guy on crack or something? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? How's it going, guys? How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> It's hey guys, like, today we're gonna review the Dark Knight. Uh, coming in number nine. Is, <laughs> uh, it's 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 so cringe. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? Oh my god! Doing? Uh, but yeah, don't watch it. Don't watch those. Uh, Colin Williams likes Tenet now. That's what you're. Oh, doing. it's breaking news! I didn't know this, man. Spoilers. Live from YouTube. Colin Williams likes Tenet. <laughs> Back to you, Ryan. For calling. <laughs> uh, Chris, I thought Spider-Verse <laughs> was an awesome movie. I think everyone thinks that. Yeah, I think everyone. It's not an unpopular opinion. I've yet to say see anyone that didn't like it. So maybe there's someone yeah. out there. That's good. Uh, maybe there's one. I still haven't watched Tenet. Yeah, uh, he told me his theaters aren't open. Yeah, it's uh, not open everywhere. No, no. Cody Leach gave Tenet a 3.25 on first viewing, but he gave it a 4 on rewatch. So. Yeah, I think for people that didn't like Tenet the first time, they'll either slightly enjoy it more or love it even more. And Colin loved it even more on second time. I wish it was January 2021. Uh, don't we all? I think we all. Because nope. at least January has some good gems coming out that month um so here's what i was thinking jay my most anticipated is going to be 20 movies like the top 20 most anticipated. well so many 30. movies are like pushed to like next year or top 30 we i'm yeah. not sure yet it's going to be a big year next year yeah this year is a fucking write-off <laughs> goodbye 2020 <laughs> He lives in Toronto. Okay. 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 So, Ooh, uh, we're playing you guys, Celtics, and uh, we're beating you. We're going to beat you, yeah. Toronto. I Raptors. live literally 40 minutes from Toronto. I'm very close to Toronto. I go to Celtics Toronto. Celtics are beating the Raptors. I'm calling it. 
Probably. Uh, I love Bride of Chucky. I love Bride of Chucky, too. It's a great movie. It's my favorite Chucky movie. I, I haven't it. seen it, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Who are you? I love yeah, you. I haven't <laughs> seen it, but I love it. Yeah. Uh, I, lo- I love Bride of Chucky. It's a great movie. Uh, why do you think Zach is saying Batman will get best picture? Because he's Batman. Oh, Batman. Because he's wearing hockey bats. Um, so Matt Reeves, Batman. I think that's everyone's most anticipated film next year. I mean, I, I feel like, well, yeah, yeah. I feel like because Joker got all this Oscar love, so maybe they're opening up now to superhero films. So. Yeah, people are don't understand why those films got nominated. Like Black Panther got nominated because of the cultural impact it made, and it was a, a great message. Uh, Joker got nominated because it dealt a lot with mental illness, and it actually happens in today's world. I think people kind of don't understand why those films got nominated, and so they'll say Batman that's going to get nominated for best picture. Did the Dark Knight get nominated? No, it didn't. It should have. <laughs> it should have, though. <laughs> um, it should have. Yeah, Matt Reeves Batman. I'm so pumped for it. That trailer, that's the best trailer I've seen in 10 plus 15 years. I can't wait. Oh, uh, how do you grade Prisoner of Azkaban? 10 out of 10. It's my favorite Harry Potter movie. Love yeah, it. A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. Great movie. Fucking love it's that movie. Pepto Patronum. When Guardium Leviosa. <laughs> Guardium Leviosa. Love it. Uh, dudes, Fast and the Furious is better than Mad Max Fury Road. Colin Williams agrees with you, though. Um, uh, no. y- y'all are cray, cray, crazy. Oh, Fury Road is Fury fucking, Road's a fucking billions, masterpiece, bro. Billions times better than that shit. One of the best right? action films ever. I, um, I, but here's what I say about Mad Max. At least it has real action. It'll take the uh, war rig and it'll run the hell over Dom Toretto and his cars. So. I love, actually, all the Mad Max movies. I think they're all great. I, I enjoyed them all. Oh, oh, speaking of that, Colin Williams is here in the chat. Oh, I shit. Think. Where uh, is he? He's just, he's way at the way bottom. He's way at the bottom. We'll get yeah, to we'll, you, Colin. We'll address Colin. We'll get to you, dude. Yes. Have you, is no one seen Stuber? No, I didn't want to. <laughs> Just, I, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, People were giving it. it too much hate. Dave Batista, Kumail Nanjiani. I enjoyed it. I didn't see it because Dave Batista, who does he think he is doing movies? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this care. guy is in him. He's going to be in Dune. So I liked yeah. it in uh, Blade Runner 2049. I actually thought it was good in the movie. Oh, he was in the opening scene. It was awesome. Good. He actually gave a very subtle performance. Like, <laughs> Fought Ryan Gosling. All right, Genesis. J Bears, I love your channel. You're the best. Great contact videos, and I love all you do. I love everything I do. Perfect. So it's all I ask for. That's okay, ask where's for. the oh, okay? I'll just leave now. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh Robert, Tenet is great. See, I mean, most people enjoy it, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we haven't found one person yet. Brian, I look forward to these movies, but I'm pretty nervous about going into the movie theater considering you know what. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you don't want to risk it, don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't want to risk it, the point of going to the movie is that like you're going to see a movie, but it is, it is at your own risk. Like It is at your own risk. <laughs> For a film like Tenet, I'm obviously going to go yeah. see it. Yeah. Um, but if it's like a smaller movie, I can wait on it. Yeah. See, like, uh, I, I work with someone, and he lives with his grandparents. He doesn't want to go out anywhere because he lives with two older people, and he doesn't want to risk it. So I get that. I understand that. See, I, I go to the movies now because I know I work at my movie theater. I know my movie theater is very clean. We clean every 30 minutes. Everything is spotless. So I know we're very clean. But I don't know all the other theaters are clean. So just True. So. Uh, anyways, uh, Jonathan, my favorite John Wick movie is John Wick 2. Mine's the first one. That's an unpopular opinion. That's my least favorite. I think, um, uh, yeah, um, actually my, it's my second favorite. I, I go one, two, three. Interesting. Uh, yeah. mine's, the first one's my favorite, then the it's third the one, then the yeah. second. First one has the best action, it has the best arc, has the best villain, and it has the best soundtrack. Yeah, the first one, the first one has the best action, best story, best villain all around. The third one has the best action, I think, actually. And then the story could have been better. Um, but the second one has the worst villains and great yeah. Yeah, I, I like all of them. They're all great films. Just keep They're going all great. with them. 
going. Uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, of course. Yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, very Wakanda shocking. Forever. Wakanda forever. No one even knew. I, no one knew this. It was a shock, actually. It was an absolute shock that he was battling colon cancer. Um, do, you, do you know how I found out? When I uh, made my um, 10 interesting facts about Jay, that video, I found out in the middle of that video when I was shooting it, my buddy was sitting next to me because he was just on his phone. So in the middle, I was shooting. He's like, "Stop shooting!" Chad Wilson just died. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I cut. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, what? <laughs> so that's how I found out. Yeah, so, you obviously didn't believe it at first, right? No, I thought it was like I thought it was like some bullshit article. He was exactly. Reading. Yeah, and like just, a clickbaity type of uh, yeah. article. But no, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. I'm like, oh my god! And then I stopped filming for a half hour. Then I went back to shooting. <laughs> so yeah. it's it interesting. It was. Just uh, Okay, I was almost freaking uh, two years old when the first Fast and Furious came out. Wow! Wow! Two years old. Two years I, think, old. I think I was like ten or something. I was six. I was, yeah, yeah. So I was six years old. So now you're making me feel old. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Overrated comic book movie. Jay Vader's overrated comic book movie. A <laughs> lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Uh, woo! See I don't know. I know mine. What's yours? Superman 1978. What? Oh. Man of Steel's kind of overrated now. Uh because uh it got hate when it came out, but now people are loving it now, and I don't understand. <laughs> I'm still with the hate, but I say I man, most people. Yeah, uh, Man of Steel's pretty overrated and Cat Marvel. Because <laughs> I hate that movie so much. Is it overrated though? Oh no, for Rotten Tomatoes, I guess. Because it's in the positive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they gave it like an 80 something. Yeah, uh, that's way too high. But yeah. Yeah. Uh have you ever watched Team America World Police? Yeah, America. Fuck yeah, here to save the motherfucking day, America. I did not, but I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's by the creators of South Park, uh, Terry Parker. Oh, and... I don't like South Park, so I, I can tell uh, the guy's thumbnail is a uh, character yeah. from South Park. <laughs> I'm not a South Park fan. I like the South Park movie, and I like Team America World Pro Police. It's a very funny movie. Yeah. Um... Way better effects existed in 2001. Oh, the uh, year like, or the movie? Or the movie, yeah. Like, it was one of the, Space Odyssey has amazing effects. It's one like, of the best sci-fi films ever made. So I, I, I agree with it. that. It. The effects in 2001 of Space Odyssey seriously are better than some of the shit Fast and Furious movies. Visual yeah. effects we get today. I think some of the visuals in 2001 Space Odyssey are better than movies now. Like It's, it's, it's amazing, yeah. that movie. I, I think agree with that. Absolutely. Amazing. Uh, your thoughts on the anime Hunter x Hunter? I didn't watch a lot of it. What are your thoughts, Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. I've not seen it, but yeah, Hunter x x. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your what's your hot takes? This Jay? is a common question now. Everybody asks me whenever I'm on a Q and A. What's your hot takes? I just uh, I just um I do a podcast with Colin Williams, and we talk all the time about hot takes. Hot opinions. Uh, give, me hot, I mean, give me a hot take in general, right? Just give me a hot take. Give me a hot take. We'll do the obvious ones because Jay knows them. Birdman is the most overrated movie ever made. I don't uh, agree. <laughs> ever made. Uh, that movie is pretentious as fuck. It's overhyped. It's because of the one take gimmick. Uh, the story is bland, and I just don't get the movie. I don't get the hype for it at all. Dunkirk is my next mo overrated one. Rewatching it. It's just fine. It's just all spectacle. I mean, it's not one of the greatest war movies, in my opinion. And it's Nolan's most overrated movie. Interesting. Uh, another one, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. One of the most overrated movies ever. I watched it for the first time. It is unnecessarily confusing. I mean... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is unnecessarily confusing. I didn't get the I didn't get the hype for it. I mean, I enjoyed Jim Carrey. I enjoy uh, Kate Winslet, but regardless, I just didn't love it. Um, I'm still thinking. Uh, that's what I can think of so far. Okay, my hot takes. Uh, I think uh, 
Yorgos Lathamos. I hate all his work. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like the favorite. I don't like the favorite. Though, yeah, either. not a fan of the favorite. Killing a sacred deer. Uh, lobster. I don't like any. I don't like his work. And people praise him as like one of the best. And that people love him. I don't. I don't get it. I. I can't stand his work. I. I don't like his work. Just sorry, people. I. Just, not for me. Um, I think the theory of everything is kind of a dull movie. A lot of people like that one. I think it's a uh, dull film. I'm no. not a big, not a big fan. Uh, <laughs> Eddie Redmayne in general is an actor. I don't think he's that talented. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't, Eddie Redmayne is kind of an overrated actor. Yeah, a lot of people like him. I don't see why. I think he's every time Ooh, I see I got him, one. But, Silver Linings Playbook very overrated. What? I love and that I, movie. But dis, despite the fighter. I think David O. Russell's a very overrated director. I can agree with that. I actually I like, like the fighter. I like the fighter. I like So Long's Playbook, and I like Three Kings, but American <sighs> Hustles. Uh, and uh, I think all those movies were overrated. Joy's sucked. That was. And shit. I just think Jennifer Lawrence is an overrated actress. Me too. Yes, she's very Except overrated. Except for Winter's Bone. That's her best performance. I uh, as much as I do like Silver Lines Playbook, I think Jessica Chastain Zero Dark Thirty was way fucking better, way better. I, I don't know I why she did. I agree with that. Yes, Jessica Chastain acts circles around Jennifer. She's a way better actress. Way fucking better. So yeah, those are some hot takes. Uh, don't call me Shirley. Damn right, airplane. Shirley. Oh, oh, this is a long one. Jay Vaders, I'm excited for the Mandalorian season two. Aren't we all? Did you see Aren't the photos? We? The photos dropped today. Yes. Yes. That was great. Uh, Bobby Yoda. Bobby Yoda. Bobby yeah. Yoda. <laughs> Bobby Yoda. I have a Funko Pop over there, but I don't want to get up. <laughs> also, Monsters Inc. is great. Yes, it is. <laughs> Put him down. He's um, a hostage. How He's, a hostage. He's a baby. <laughs> hey, Jay. Why do you not like iRobot? Why do not, do not I like enjoy it. I, it's forgettable. I never, it's forgettable. Said I, I never said I didn't like it. I, I just said it's kind of meh. It's a eh kind of movie. Kind of forgettable. <clears throat> I like Will Smith. Movie. I like Will, Will Smith. Smith's awesome. He's always awesome. awesome. Will Smith. Uh, great for the prequels. <sighs> great for the prequels. Phantom Menace. <sighs> C, 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 C plus. I don't know. Uh, Attack of the Clones, D plus. And Revenge of the Sith, B minus. Uh, Phantom Menace gets like a 5.7. Attack of the Clones is like a 3. Revenge of the Sith, I give it an 8. I actually enjoy that movie. I think it's pretty good. Uh, Robert, uh, why do you not like Candyman? Oh, God. Ah. Candyman, 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 Candyman. <laughs> not scary, not creative. And no, I'm not even looking forward Are you looking anymore. forward to the new one? No? Jordan Peele exec- is producing it. Yeah. And the director of Captain Marvel 2 is doing it. Wow. <laughs> that got me more yeah, excited. <laughs> uh, did you see Tenet? No. This is a different Jay. The other Jay saw a tenant. Yes. <laughs> How would you grade Night the Museum trilogy? I actually I yeah. really enjoy that trilogy. I do too, actually. They're not bad, actually. They're not bad. Just ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah. He says happy birthday. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Get your sexy ass back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, uh, the Nightmare of the Museum trilogy. Um, what was my favorite one? The first one. I mean, I'll go, I have. I'll go seven out of ten across the board. But yeah. They're, they're, why not? I enjoyed the first. I have the Blu-rays over there. They're good. I enjoyed them. Uh, have you watched JoJo Bizarre Adventure? No. Nah. Uh, what's up, guys? Hey, Max. What's uh, up, sir? Revenge of the Sith is the second best Star Wars movie. Interesting. Uh, and, and that is very interesting. I don't agree, but I don't I mean, agree, but it's good. It's good. 
it's good. It's good. Uh, shit. I just lost my place. <laughs> ah, brother. Hold on. Sorry. Robert, uh, we were on a, uh, Robert Alex Revenge of the Sith is the second best Star Wars movie. Okay, hold on. I literally lost my fucking place. Sorry, people. <laughs> it's Jay. He's still uh, getting used to StreamYard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I can't. Uh... I can't get back up. It won't let me. Oh, no. Fuck me up the ass. <laughs> Anyway, sorry guys. We're it figuring me, out. It won't let me uh, go all the way up, so I have to start. Did we do this one? No. Okay, sorry. I have to start from right no, here now. Didn't. All right, sorry guys. I lost all the comments. They won't let me go up anymore. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, I just recently saw Summer of '84. Uh, good movie, actually. Good movie. Have you seen it? I I have not. What is that? It's a it's a horror movie. It takes place in the 80s and stuff. Ah. Ah. Oh, ah. Uh, you guys should do... <laughs> you should do a list of directors who have never made a bad movie. Directors who have never made a bad movie. Uh, Christopher Tarantino. Nolan. Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino. Um, Stanley Kubrick. Um, Damien Chazelle. Yes. Um, Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Um... I actually don't agree with you on Nolan. I think Interstellar is the kind of a bad movie. But <laughs> nah, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? My favorite movie of 2002 is Born Identity. It's a good movie. I enjoy that It's movie. a good movie. I really like the Born series. It gets overlooked when people talk about great action series. Yeah. Like, watch the Born Identity, the Born Supremacy, and the Born Ultimatum. They're and stop. <laughs> and just and stop. Don't it. watch the rest. Um, my favorite movie, 2002, is actually Catch Me If You Can. My oh. favorite, one of my favorite Spielberg movies. Oh, I, I agree with you on that one. That's a great fucking movie. I love that movie. Uh, overrated MCU movie film and underrated MCU film. Jay Vader's. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, overrated MCU film. Well, if Cat Marvel counts. Uh, if it doesn't, then uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, mine would be the Doctor Strange. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it's underrated. Not really watchable. It's just not funny. I think underrated Iron Man three. That movie gets some hate, and I don't get you it. You know what? I agree with you. Iron Man three. I enjoy Iron Man three. Um, uh, Mulan twenty twenty. Captain America. Mulan twenty twenty is pretty much polarizing so up. Uh, yeah, so far. it is divisive. Um, yeah, some people. Some believe. people are saying it's the best live action Disney remake. People saying it's awful and it's a disgrace to the original. I do not agree with that. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. To be continued for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Z or Yu Yu Hakusho? Dragon Ball Z. Yes. I favorite. don't watch it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Ryan, you might be right. I might be a stalker. Oh, time to report Mason Roberts. <laughs> uh, I want a Master of Disguise review from both of you. Master of Disguise. Oh, my God. Have you seen that movie? What even is that movie? It's got Dana Carvey. Uh, I've never even heard of this movie. It, 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 Dana Carvey joins like the spy agency, and he like has all these disguises he wears. It's awful. It's one of the worst comedies ever. All There's right. literally a scene where he's like, I'm going to be a master of the sky. I'm going to be a master of the sky. He does that for three minutes almost. I'm like, oh my god, shoot me in the fucking face. Oh, I gotta wa I gotta watch it now. Huh. Yeah. Uh read that comment. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Uh he read Dune the Dune book, so I know everything. I'm actually Zendaya in disguise. Oh, you're Zendaya's cousin. Um, do you know everything about Dune now? Do you know the plot twist of what's going to happen? I need to know. No? Sorry, I had, to, I had to shut my door. So, and, yeah, I'm excited for that Dune trailer tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be good. <laughs> New Mutants sucked, according to this guy. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the Mandalorian season two trailer is coming in a couple of weeks. Well, they, ha I have to drop it this week. I think <laughs> they're dropping photos. They dropped the release date. I can just tell they're gonna drop that. They're dropping right mics. They're dropping everything. Like they're 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 uh they're um 
what's the word? They're fooling us right now. They're trying to get in our heads and manipulate us. Like, we know you want that trailer. Let's drop some photos of Bobby Yoda and the man. Bobby Yoda. Yeah. yeah. Give us that trailer. Come on. I love the Mandalorian. It's a great. He's sexy. <laughs> Uh, all right. Overrated and underrated MCU movie is Iron Man Two. Ooh, I disagree. I don't like that. Grace for Shazam and Wonder Woman. Well, Shazam hasn't held up for me. I mean, it's kind of like a Deadpool effect, but uh, it's just I haven't remembered much about it. Um, I'll probably go for Shazam B minus yeah. Wonder Woman. Fantastic. That still holds up today. I go with an A. I didn't love the final CGI battle, but A for Wonder Woman. I give a Shazam a six. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, it's like a Deadpool. I don't remember the jokes or anything much about it, yeah. but I am looking forward to Fury of the Gods, the sequel. Uh, Wonder Woman's like an 8.5. It's a good movie. I it's a really it. good movie. Uh, can you rank ever uh, Adam Wingard since Godzilla vs. King Kong is coming out? The guest is great. You're next. I've seen all those movies, so possibly. Oh, Adam Wingard. Yeah, he's doing yeah. Gone vs. Godzilla. Yeah, because Ryan Johnson ruined Star Wars because he killed Snoke. Okay. <laughs> uh, Snoke, that guy. Uh, I don't I don't agree he ruined Star Wars. Uh mm -hmm. Rise of Skywalker kind of did. I'm just kidding. Uh it didn't ruin Star Wars. Just those movies they had a lack of direction or a lack of preparation put into them. So we got the movies we got. I didn't hate Last Jedi. Um Snoke's killing was kind of dumb. I wanted more of him. Yeah. Yeah. Snoke. <laughs> Snoke. Favorite MCU movie. Mine is Iron Man 3. I've said it. We both agree. Endgame. Yeah. Endgame. Yeah. Uh, I agree with Cody Leach's opinion on Interstellar. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your grades for Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Groundhog Day? Oh. Yeah. Groundhog Day is a 10 out of 10. I fucking love Groundhog Day. Uh, Groundhog Day. Um, B plus on Groundhog Day. It's good. Ferris Bueller's an A. I freaking love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Groundhog Day. Day. Huh? It's better. No, Ferris Bueller's better, dude. That movie's oh, awesome. No, Groundhog Day, 10 out of 10. Ferris oh, Bueller. Oh, yeah. Ferris Bueller is <laughs> dude, 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 dude. It's my favorite John Hughes movie, easily. 8 out of 10. Even over it's Breakfast good. Club. I go with Ferris Bueller. Wow. Interesting. Uh, overrated <sighs> DCEU and underrated DCEU. Underrated? I know you're going to disagree with me. Birds of Prey. <laughs> Birds of Prey is great, dude. Rewatch it. Um, Birds of Prey overrated. I fucking uh, I really like yeah. uh, Birds of Prey. That movie gets too much shit on by this guy. Um, over <laughs> overrated. Damn. Overrated DCU movie. Uh, BVS Ultimate Edition. We'll go with that. Um, underrated. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Probably now Shazam, actually, for overrated DC. Overrated, Birds of Prey, underrated. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hard. None, none of them. <laughs> Minute of Steel. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, none, it's not underrated anymore. None of them, but maybe. Uh, oh, God. The only one I really like a lot is Wonder Woman, but uh, underrated? Uh, fuck it. I'll go. Aquaman. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, even Aquaman isn't that memorable. He's okay. And he's kind of dumb. Oh, which do you love? Superheroes or supervillains? Supervillains. They're more interesting to me, actually. Unpopular. I gotta go villains. Yeah. I like villain stories more. Like the Maybe. Joker, Heath Ledger. Uh, thoughts on the whole Ray Fitch Fisher situation? Oh, with Joss Whedon and stuff. Uh, I actually agree with Ray. Yeah, Fisher. his stuff, his comments on Joshua. I agree with Ray Fisher. I yeah. mean, well, I wasn't there, so I can't comment. But I don't. I know Joss Whedon said some really offensive stuff to people on set, and uh, yeah, it sounds pretty effed up. What the production of Justice League? Yeah. Uh, what's an overrated movie for me? It's Grand Old Day. Oh, no. I that. just said them. <laughs> Merman. <Dunker. laughs> I also live in Boston. David lives in Boston. Hey, let's go hang out. <laughs> yeah! Uh, 
Jay get Lindsay a dog. Hey, okay. Yeah, <laughs> get her a dog, bro. Get her a dog. Lindsay wants a dog so bad, and I'm like, oh, get her one. <laughs> In time, we'll get a dog soon. Um, I want to saw... see you hold a puppy. <laughs> puppy uh i saw raise the lost dark spongebob movie back to future inception jurassic park and theaters because they're playing old movies yes that's uh, awesome lost... i want to see raiders of the lost ark in a cinema so bad back to the future in a cinema inception and imax jurassic park i want to see all those in a cinema i've seen most of those in cinemas uh, not when they oh, you know damn. not, so not when they first came out but <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wish uh, the best Eddie Murphy movie is actually Norbit. Uh, I hope that's a joke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, the new movie <clears throat> years. HBO Max has the rights for streaming. Fox deal before Disney. Oh, okay. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the Fast and Furious franchise is a lot better than Mad Max. No. <laughs> oh, get him out of here. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> uh, great for. Home Spider movies. Um, I don't know. They're both kind of like seven out of tens for me. Like they're they're fine. Homecoming overrated. Um, that's another overrated MCU movie. I'll go C plus. No, B minus for that movie. Uh, Far from Home. I'll go B plus. Uh, would you rather watch Fan Four Fan Four Stick or Spider Man? Superman, Spider-Man, Superman. I'd, ra I'd rather have my eyes eyes taken out from me. <laughs> I... I'll go with Quest for Peace. At least I know what it is. It's laughably awful. In Fan Stick, I'm not laughing. I'm just utterly bored to death. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'll agree. Superman 4, I can watch with a group of people. I want to laugh and then be bored to death. I think uh -oh. if you get a group of friends watch Superman four, it could be a good time <laughs> to make fun. Yeah, of it. you can just laugh at the awful backgrounds whenever Superman's flying the same position every time. It's awful. Ha ha! Thank you, Joseph. Ha 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 ha! Uh, Joseph, uh, when December comes, it'll be goddamn one. One month. goddamn month. One goddamn month. One yeah. goddamn month. One goddamn month. <laughs> I can't uh, wait. <laughs> yeah. What movies do you think had the wrong rating? Oh, so like PG 13 R, which had the wrong Dunkirk, I wish was rated R. <laughs> um, okay. There's a movie, animated movie. It's called The Secret of Nim, 1982. It's one of my favorite anime films. It's a great film, but it's rated G. And there's blood and shit, and animals get their hands cut off. I'm like, what is this? Is the most violent G rating? What is happening? I'm like, this is not G rating. Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom is the business example. It was PG, wasn't it, or G? PG. PG. Yeah, like, it created the PG thirteen rating. It's hard and out. Hearts it. ripped out. And yeah. Kids getting whipped. Uh, like it had fucked up stuff in it. Yeah. Don't talk about my Friday evening. <laughs> <laughs> As of now, how would you rate Endgame, Parasite, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Uh, uh, tens End across the board. <laughs> Endgame, A+, plus, Parasite, A+, plus, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, A-. Uh, uh, hey, Jay, can you do a top 10 Will Smith movies? Sure, why not? That seems easy. Uh, you have not done a top 10 Will Smith movies? That's crazy, bruh. Uh, thoughts on Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Thomas the Tank Engine. Never watched that as a kid. That I did as a kid. It was I like Thomas. Okay. I like trains. You know, I, I wanted I, to be a. Did you know I wanted to be a train conductor when I was a kid, Jay? Really? I talked about this on the podcast. There was something yeah. strange because of Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't know. It was weird. I wanted to be a doctor when I was a kid. And he's got a train as his thumbnail, so you could tell he loves trains as much as I did when I was eight. Did you ever see Phineas and Ferb? I never saw it, so no, no. Um, oh shit! Do you guys like the Bounty Hunter? No, the Jar Butler movie. Ooh, that's terrible. Film. I haven't seen it. It's not good. Uh, great for Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a lot of work. Avengers 1, A+, plus. Avengers Age of Ultron, B, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, A+. Plus. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'll go 10th for all of them, but 
Age of Ultron, it's like a seven. Um, why Thor: The Dark World was great. Uh, I don't. Why? Know. Why was it great? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Governor Radcliffe equals best movie villain. Really? From both of us? Oh, mine. Mine. He's mine. Nah, we oh, who is this, this guy? <laughs> he's <laughs> mine. <laughs> wow. Dude, he's I better like than him. Scar. He's better than Scar, Jay. Governor oh, Radcliffe. Oh, Scar's the greatest. This guy's saying he's better than Scar. No. <laughs> no. Scar. Uh, and Melissa, Maleficent from the original Sleeping Beauty and Ursula are the he's saying best. He's better than Darth Vader. He's saying he's better than Thanos. He's oh, no. Joker. He's saying he's better than all. Con <laughs> now. T one thousand. Anton Sugar. T one thousand. Like come on. How nine thousand? <laughs> uh, what's the top ten worst Uwe ball list? Uh, maybe to be continued. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Uh, on the M MPAA's one f bomb rule for PG thirteen movies, I think it's bullshit. Actually, um, that's, act that's an actual source. Is that real? I don't think so because um, what Hancock source do you follow, David Katz? Because <laughs> Hancock is a PG thirteen movie, and there's three f words in it. So uh, yeah. it's weird. Um, Spider cock. <laughs> <He called Best Movie. laughs> I want to see that movie. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Have Kevin Smith direct it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny. Uh, Jenna says Wendy is my favorite South Park character. Um, I don't watch South Park, but I don't. I don't like South. I don't care about it. No. Um, I'm a Family well Guy person. I like Family Guy and Simpsons. Uh, how would you grade Arthur Christmas and Klaus? I love both these movies. Oh, they're both fantastic. Love them um, both. They're both in the A, A plus range. Uh, 10 out of 10 for Arthur Christmas. 9 for Klaus. Both Klaus great. Both great underrated Christmas movies. Yes. I watch them both every Christmas. And I can't wait to show Lindsay both of them. She hasn't seen either one of them. Yeah. So, great movies. <sighs> Uh, what's your least favorite anime? Uh, it's an anime called Green Green. Terrible. I'm not uh, the best person to ask this. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the latest No Time to Die trailer? No, I have not. I have not. I have. It's really good. Really good. Can't wait to see the movie. There you have it. Uh, I kind of like Old J. Really? Interesting. Really? I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? You like this J? We're going to talk <laughs> about this. <movie. laughs> you like the J that yells a lot and... Talks with his hands. Uh, I think I, you know what I hate? Yeah, yeah. Even my um, 2016 videos, I I yell a lot. Like, I yell. Yeah, you're like, hey, everybody, woke up. Oh, I <laughs> Today, I figured I would talk about. I, it sounds yeah. like you took a bunch of crack cocaine and like different shots of monster before you started every video. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, like, my <laughs> and my number one favorite. <laughs> I'm just like I'm yelling and I uh oh, like, this guy crazy. Cray. <laughs> uh so I find my mm -hmm. old content, it's very oh, no, irritating. So <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Smiley face. Uh, how would you rate Getaway? Ooh. Ugh. Chris Hemsworth movie? Oh. Five oh, out of ten. Have you seen it? I, I haven't seen it, no. No. <laughs> uh, Ron Tomatoes is a huge piece of crap for giving Tenet a 6.9 6. out of 10. First of all, I don't use Rotten Tomatoes as a reliable source most of the time. So, uh, it's just a mix of critics giving their opinions on the movie. That's how you get... The uh, Tomato Meter score, the, uh, the audience comes up with their own mixed opinions, and we get a score. So I disagree with Rod Tomatoes a lot. So yeah. do not use that as a formula. <laughs> watch, just watch the movie from your own opinion. It doesn't matter what. Tenet only has a 74% right now on Rotten Tomatoes. Not yeah. even certified fresh. That is mm -hmm. something I disagree with. So yeah, I, I always say don't. Don't listen to critics. Just form, form form your own opinion. Own opinion. Like uh, you can use it as like a source, but like I wouldn't. But uh, anyways, why not do a evolution rotten or fresh episode? We've okay. done many. Um, have you watched yeah. Rotten? We did a special episode called the Barnyard Brawl. That was a 
very special episode that we've been building up to. Uh, it's the commissioners versus the evolution. Yeah. Uh, and I lost to Zach again a second time. And I lost. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, have you guys seen Evil Bong? <laughs> no. I never even heard of that movie. <laughs> Uh, what are you talking? Oh, well, this was all spam. I saw a bunch of spam comments on that. Okay. Um, Oliver Panson got COVID. Yes, he did. I heard about that. He did. Yes, we talked about this on the podcast. Um, and they actually are continuing to shoot the Batman without him right now. But yeah, it's going to be a huge. You can shoot scenes that don't, don't evolve in. Right? Yeah, they only shot twenty five percent of the movie, so I don't know how much scenes without him they can get done. Hopefully, he gets back to normal. Yeah. The Batman has potential to be the best comic book movie ever. Of course. It, ever. it does. I mean, that trailer was phenomenal. I mean, anybody says it's going to be better than The Dark Knight. We don't know that yet. Uh, we have to see the movie. But I have high hope potential for that movie. It looks you can debate. You can debate that any comic book movie has the potential to be the best comic book movie. You just, just got to be good. <laughs> yeah. You getting the cold, Ryan? I don't know. Do I have COVID? I don't know. I hope you don't. I Jay Bears can't wait for the Sonic, the Hedgehog 2, Jim Carrey returning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all, yeah. Looks good. all looks good. I can't wait to see it. Do you like Princess Bride? I love Princess Bride. I love it. You're talking to a guy who loves it. I love Princess Bride. Have you seen it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Free movie. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't love it. It's all right. Great for Captain America 1, 2, and 3. Man, there's a lot of work here. <laughs> oh, my God. Captain America 1, A-. minus. Winter Soldier, A+. Plus. Civil War, A+. Plus. All yeah. A's. Uh, first Avenger, 8.3. <clears throat> 8, 8. 10 out of 10 for the other two. Yeah. Uh, can you do a top 10 foreign films? I have, but I can do an updated one. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nightmare on Elm Street 4 has the best soundtrack. I forgot everything that happened in that movie. <laughs> Dream Warriors has the best. Which soundtrack. one was that again? <laughs> That's the one when they're in the school. Like, uh, hey, Freddy does all the killings in the school. Oh, God. I don't even remember. <laughs> He's the bug in that one. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> the best soundtrack is Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um,. Favorite comic book movie, mine is Joker. It's a good one. Yeah, uh, mine is in... <laughs> Dark Knight. <laughs> mine too. Uh, the North Man is one of the most anticipated movies. The North Man. Is that the Robert Eggers movie? Might be. I think it's the new Robert Eggers movie that's coming out. I thought Spider-Man Spider-Verse was average. It is, yes. I can't wait for that. It's Robert Eggers. Love the lighthouse. Love the witch. Can't wait. Uh, do you did you prefer did you pre order the Friday Thirteenth Collection box set? No, no, I did not. Uh, I don't care about those movies really. I uh, don't care. I was disappointed when we didn't see <sighs> Spider Punk or Superior Spider Man. And, oh, all these Spider Man. Uh, Maybe it might be in Spider Verse too. Yeah, we'll see more Spider Mans in the Spider Verse films. So don't you worry. That's the point of them. Yeah. How did you meet Sean Chandler with a W? <laughs> this is a funny and oh that that's actually his long lost cousin yeah. in law. Uh yeah, you actually told me he, he commented on one of your videos. Hey, you want to watch one of mine? <laughs> yep. Uh I Sean commented on one of my like original uh, my ranking of the Star Trek movies back in like February, um, April of 2015. And then I watched one of his videos after and stuff. So I knew Sean Chandler when Sean Chandler had like a hundred subscribers or something like, so yeah. And then he just surpassed me like, like a motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's Colin. Colin. Hi. Are you still here? Yeah. yeah. He probably isn't. He got tired of it. <laughs> uh, he is pushing on fast and furious. <laughs> uh, Ralph breaks the internet or frozen Two. I think both are kind of underwhelming, but Ralph breaks the frozen internet. two. Frozen 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet's overrated. I think they're both kind of underwhelming films. The first one. The first one. Mm -hmm. Why didn't Rank It Ralph 2 have more video games? I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just like a mochi movie. Yeah, Definitely All's Part 2 is the best Harry Potter film. That is. I agree, favorite. Max. I agree, Max. That's my second favorite. I love that. I movie. agree. 
Uh, Jay Vader's can't wait for Jurassic World 3. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not. Oh, my God. That's Fallen Kingdom was awesome. Yeah, three, mm. Ghostbusters. yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife kind of was interesting. Uh, it's kind of – it's Jason yeah. Wright. Jason Reitman did it, so uh, that's the son of Ivan Reitman. So I, I'm for I'm all for it. Uh, I, yeah, I have not another team movie. How would you rate it? Uh, I think it's a ridiculous movie. Uh, I give like a five. It's not my thing. Lindsay loves it though. She I haven't seen it. it. It's like a satire of high school films and shit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would rate the first Toy Story. A plus. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> I really like Toy Story. It's a great movie. You know, Woody Buzz. You know, it's got toys. <laughs> uh, Steven, um, we didn't see Mary Parker, Spider-Girl, just saying. Uh, again, give it time. God, there's so many comments. <laughs> okay. I okay. want a new Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Um, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't like that re that fucking remake with Jackie Earl Haley. Have Robert Eggers do the new Nightmare on Elm Street movie. That would be crazy. I, I, I uh, Jay Ritter's Fury Road was hot garbage. No, no, get him out of here. I realize a lot of people don't like Mad Max Fury Road, even though it's a pretty praised film. But I, I, I don't people, get the hate. I don't. I mean, it's not for everyone. It's a crazy movie. I get it. Yeah. We're getting all these questions of what we think of Thomas. <laughs> yeah, uh, never watched it. <laughs> kind of spam. It damn. is spam, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Thomas? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Colin, uh, another student at my school got COVID. Oh, uh, shit. Colin, I hope you don't have COVID, man. Uh, I know you got tested recently. Yeah. But just stay home. Stay safe, man. Be careful. Wash your hands. Just be careful. Put your freaking mask on in public. I can't stand when people don't have a mask yeah. on. Especially oh, yeah. in a movie theater. Yeah, this is my... Uh, you have to. I, we're going to send a message right now, okay? Okay? It's not that hard, okay? Let me put my headphone oh, on. Shit. Yeah, hold on. It's not that hard. You take a mask right here. Hold on. There you go. See? This is the one I wear at work every day. Right here. See? We're a mask. It's not that hard. <laughs> you can. I work eight hour shifts in this thing. I can breathe just fine. In it, so. What's that? You look like Bane. You could be a badass. Go. Mm -hmm. right. uh, oh, you will be adopted the dark. I was uh, born in it. Right. You're going to love this one. Watch this. Hold on. You're going to love this. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, what's that? Bobby Yoda. Bobby Yoda. Bobby Yoda. You can get a baby Yoda mask. Yeah. See? It's great. That's awesome. Great. I, I actually I just went to Walmart and yeah. I got a I got an ET mask. Oh, you do? Yeah, I have an ET Where's mask. that one? Huh. It, it's in the wash. I'm washing it now. Okay. No, I can't breathe. I'm okay. just kidding. Um, the only like issue some people have with masks is when they have glasses, it fogs their glasses up. But there's a lot of ways you can do that. You put your mask and then you put your glasses over the mask and then it helps with the fog. It's a common problem some people have. But anyways, uh, great for Ant-Man 1 and 2. Uh, Ant-Man is great. That's uh, an underrated one. Ant a minus for Ant Man, and Ant Man Two, one of my least favorite. C minus C. Uh, I don't mind Ant Man Two. It's like a seven point three. It's, it's just, fun. it's just a like a Disney Plus movie. They just after Infinity War was just released. Yeah. Fun. Have you guys seen Hard Boiled, The Killer, A Better Tomorrow, Saw the Devil Bears? Okay, these are like John Woo movies. I've seen the. Killer I've never movie. seen any of them. I've seen Hard Boiled and The Killer. I like Chow Yon Fat. Uh, Colin Williams, that's awful. That's why we're online. Yeah. Uh, one one of one of you guys like any of the God, old older Godzilla films? Have you seen any of the old school Godzilla films? A little bit, not a yeah. lot though. Uh they're they're enjoyable. My cousin loves the shit online. Yes. Um, Recipe Chow Bozeman, of course. Of course. Uh, grades for John Wick one and two. 
<laughs> oh wow, we never answered this one. Uh, just... uh, you no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thoughts on Cobra Kai? Love Cobra Kai. Sweet I don't, Evan. I'm not into that. <laughs> Ryan, it's on Netflix right now. Watch it. It's great. It's so great. I love the show. It's fantastic. Okay. What would you give it? 10 out of 10. It's a fucking wicked show. It's ah. wicked. It's so good. It's so good, guys. It's so good. Ryan, when you do that, you sound like you're on cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh didn't care for Black Panther, but Recipe Shuffles. Fair enough. Fair enough. Absolutely. Not, you don't have to love the movie, but still... Very sad. Yeah, he's a really good actor. Uh, does anyone have thoughts on Twenty One Bridges? I speaking of Chad, good. speaking of Chadwick Boseman, yeah. I thought it was. It's, uh, it was eh, yeah. or, eh. I didn't love all of Chadwick Boseman's movies, but I did like him as an actor. He was very good. He actor. was a fantastic actor. Yeah, forty two. Captain America is around seventy three percent. Ron Tomatoes should be at thirty three percent. Uh. Answering the Super Sentence question, Logan, hands down, is the most overrated. Oh, what? Wow. That's the first person I heard call Logan overrated. What? Logan, Logan is probably one of my favorite superheroes. Do you movies. have a heart? What? I love. I Logan. want to hear your reasons why you think it's overrated, Max. Like you can't, yeah. you can't just say that. Like Logan is yeah. the most overrated. Like we got, you got some explaining to do. That's one of my favorites. I love it. Yeah. Jungle Cruise, Minions, uh, Morbius, The Suicide Squad. Aww. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jungle Cruise kind of looks interesting. Actually, I'll admit that. Uh, it's an original film. I'm all for originality. So. Me too. Me too. Space Jam 2, fuck that shit. <laughs> Out of all those, I'm really only pumped for Quiet Place 2. I was about to go see that movie. Then go oh, and uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad. I'm actually curious about it. Yeah. Black Adam. Yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson or Wes Anderson? Uh, Wes, Wes Anderson. Anderson. Paul Thomas Anderson's films are just very artsy, fartsy, really long movies that are not rewatchable. But I really like There Will Be Blood, even though it's not that rewatchable. Wes Anderson, he's very quirky, fun, and they are rewatchable movies. What's your favorite Wes Anderson movie? Grand Budapest Hotel. I love that movie. Yeah. That's my uh, second favorite. Favorite Moonrise. I love Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise That's Kingdom. close for me, too. I gotta rewatch it before The French Dispatch. That looks good. Yeah. Jay, will you ever go live with Jaren Talks Movies? Do you know who Jaren Talks Movies is? He's a great but, YouTuber, dude. Yeah. I've been on his live Q&A before. If he wants me, then yeah, he can just give me a shout. Uh, I'll give uh, you a good recommendation. Yeah. Disagree. It's the greatest comic book film ever. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Skull Man. Yeah. Uh, Jay, I know Brian Robbins is a crappy director, but do you at least like one of his movies? Brian Robbins. Who Who's the that? fuck is Who Brian is Robbins? Brian Robbins? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know who he is. Uh, uh, oh, Josh, I'd be up to join the Fall Film Podcast episode. Josh, we got, a lot, we got a lot of guests, um, but yeah, I would love to consider you as a guest for the future. We'll just have to sort it out. Uh, what's the worst Doolittle, Doolittle or <laughs> Artemis? Doolittle or Artemis Fowl? Artemis Fowl. I think Artemis Fowl, without any uh, hesitation. Uh, Artemis Fowl is a disgrace that it was even it's done really horribly funny. wrong because it's a great book series. Because Doolittle, I knew it'd be shit when I saw the trailer. Like, this movie's getting trash. So Artemis it's Fowl. Doolittle, uh, it, it was just. Eh. Oh. And it was only like 80 minutes long, so... <laughs> you know, it has Robert Downey Jr. in it, so... Why do you hate Billy Madison and the Waterboy? Okay, um... I hate Billy Madison, yes. I think there's one good joke in the whole fucking movie, and that's the very ending with the... with the When he answers the puppy question. That's a funny... But I, I think that movie's just... I hate when Adam Sandler does that, the voice, that... When he does that voice, it's so irritating. Like, oh my god, shut up. But well, he's uh, an uncut gem, so he made it up right. for it. Yeah, and the water boy does that oh, voice in that movie too. Yeah. Oh, it's some high quality H2O. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. I do I do like Happy Gilmore though. I like Happy Gilmore. I like the way <clears> Happy Gilmore. Big Daddy's pretty good too. I enjoy those movies. 
they're just not that great movies. Yeah. Grade four BP and Doc Strange. <laughs> Black Panther. Uh B or B plus. Doctor Strange, C plus. I go eight and then six. Um Soul Man. Skull Man, sorry. Uh Skull Man. S. Craig Zeller. And Robert. Oh, Anderson. that guy that guy did uh Brawl and Cell Block 99 and uh forgot the yeah. other movie he did. Dragged Denis across Vill concrete. And, uh did any villain was the best yeah. modern filmmaker, I think. Robert Eggers is fantastic. I'd go Denis Villeneuve is the best, though. I agree. Or, or, yeah, Denis Villeneuve. Yeah. Yeah. Best. <clears throat> uh, I think Ari Aster is pretty overrated. I see where you're coming from, but I oh, like... I loved Hereditary. I did I not like Midsommar. I did not. I hated that fucking movie. So I, I, I see where he's coming from because Hereditary was, was good, but Midsommar was pretty stupid. I didn't like that movie. Um... V for Vendetta is amazing. I enjoy that movie. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Great movie. I like that That's movie. With a November. <laughs> yeah. Unpopular opinion. Only Toy Story 1 and 2 are good. What? Toy, Toy Story 3? You didn't like Toy Story 3? Wow. I like all the Toy Stories. I see where people don't like 4. Uh, but yeah, 3 is 4. Yeah. Though. Yeah. I, I love 3. 3. That's the second best for me. Yeah. I love, I love 3. I love the Toy Story 3. Uh, can you rank more directors? Uh, wow, he's just killing me out. Jim, you got to do more director videos, Jay. Do yeah. it! <laughs> Don't you start with me. Uh, hi, Colin Williams. Hi, Colin Williams. <laughs> I like Back to the Future 2 more than one. No, wow. wow. I don't. I don't. I like all of them. That really rips off It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like all Back to the Features, but no, one's the best. Yeah. It's enjoyable, but no, the first one's a classic. Yeah. Jay, how is it the movie theaters for you and Lindsay so far? Oh, how's the movie theaters? Um, Because me and Lindsay both work. They're yeah. fucking they're fucking dead. How your yeah your capacity is probably like not the best. It's horrible. It's terrible. Yeah. We get maybe ten people each showing. Like uh we don't get more than like twelve people in each theater room. Like it's it's bad. Like yeah. We're losing money every fucking day. It's it's bad. Yeah. It's That's awful. Yeah. So it's not good. Um Aladdin is my favorite Disney live action movie. Um it's up there for me. I actually enjoyed it. Uh I gotta go Jungle Book for my favorite. I like Jungle Book. Cinderella is my favorite, actually. <laughs> but oh I like yeah, that's a good one, Cinderella. I actually like Cinderella, but uh, Jungle Book's good. Uh, Jay, top two Nickelodeon shows. Avatar: Last Airbender is the best. Avatar best. and Drake and Josh. Yeah. Um, what the fuck else in Nick? Oh, Rugrats. Great. Uh, great and show. SpongeBob, of course. SpongeBob. Yes. Uh, Ryan, can you make a movie called Saving Private Ryan O'Toole? <laughs> well, it would be it would be not entertaining because I'm already found. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. We gotta you. save Ryan. Ah! I'll just hey, pick Ryan. up. I'll pick up Sean Chandler, and then I'll pick and up. Jay Pat. will be the Jay will be the lead star. Uh, he'll die first because he's the runner up every time. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, are there any areas of film you've yet to explore you would want to? Time periods, genres, film, movements, scent, countries, and stuff. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of foreign films. I've seen a lot of foreign films, but there's so many I haven't seen that a lot of people tell me to go. So there's a lot more I can explore with the foreign films. What about you? Yeah, foreign films for me, too. Yeah. Um, I've been watching lots of them. Parasite, Train to Busan. Uh, have you seen Whoa. Train to Busan? Yes, fucking. Wicked. That movie is fucking amazing, dude. Like, wow, oh my god, great, great movie. That's Love. my favorite zombie movie, easily. Yeah, me too. Great fucking movie. Love that. Um, movie. Did you watch the sequel, Peninsula? No, I, I haven't been able to find it. I'll have to check no. it out. Another thing you should watch more, Ryan. I think classics. 
You're, you're doing oh, I have. I do in The Godfather, uh, Casablanca, yeah. revisiting that, Citizen Kane. We'll watch a more classic. Casablanca is one of the greatest films. How could Colin How could Colin that? Williams not love it? Oh, ah. It's a great movie. Uh, anyways, Jay, I just saw Rare Window last week for the first time. It was blown away. Oh, love Rare Speaking Window. Speaking of that, I need to get into more Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, love Rare Window. Great movie. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Revenge of the Sith is my second favorite Star Wars movie. Has the best lightsaber battle. Um, yeah, it's up there for some lightsaber battles, but it's yeah. not mine. My second favorite, uh, mine is the original three are my favorites. Like I exactly. love exactly Star yeah. Wars and Empire Strikes Back are just yeah, with amazing. Darth Vader, Luke, like it's epic, phenomenal. Um, have you seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation? I have. It's terrible. Matthew McConaughey and Rene Zellweger in it. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, uh, John Hughes doesn't have a terrible movie. Yes, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one he has for a terrible. Yeah, movie. he does. Uh, he did. Um, um, did he do that one? Colin likes Camp I Me Love. I I can't stand that movie. But uh, fact check. He he did this other movie. Uh, I forget what it's called, but but the little girl. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh. Yeah, there's a few movies of Johnny's I don't like. Uh, he didn't do Can't Buy Me Love. No. He probably like, produced it or some shit. Uh, but uh, he did another one. It's about a little girl in... I don't know what it's called, though. But it's it's terrible. It's not a good movie. It's not good. Huh. But it, it, I think it's like called... Oh, my God. What is it called? I saw it a long time ago, but I hated it, though. Uh, uh, yeah, the... Jay is in the name of the father. A good movie in the name of the father. Oh, with um, Daniel Day Lewis. Yes, it's a great movie. Hmm. I haven't seen it. Uh, have you seen Frankenstein, nineteen thirty one? I have. Boris Karloff, great movie. Have you? Uh, no, I have not. I have not. <laughs> Wonder Woman is the best DC movie. It, yes, it is. Man of Steel. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Jay, I was going to watch a movie called Dial in for Murder. Is it good? Yes, it is. Very good movie. Uh, Jay, do you have hair under that hat? We never yeah. known. But, oh, he does! What I a do. plot twist. I do. I do. Um, <laughs> did you know they made four Norm in the North movies? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why'd you make one? <laughs> uh, hey, Jay, didn't you enjoy the Child's Play remake? Nope, I did not. I did he not. did not. He <laughs> asked you why. <laughs> no, I didn't. Jay, are you handsome, more handsome than Brad Pitt? Uh, yep, of course I am. It's obvious. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's obvious. Yeah, not better than him. Yeah. Better than Cliff Booth, handsome. Yeah. Yeah. So. Will you do a, a Crash Bandicoot four? Yes, I can't wait for Crash Bandicoot four. It's one of my favorites. Uh, uh, we'll how many back. more questions did we get? Oh my god, it just keeps going and going and going and oh my god, it's. I might need to head out soon. <laughs> okay. Holy shit! I still haven't even reached the bottom yet. Hold on. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Holy mother of God. Oh, look who's at the bottom. What? Okay. <laughs> who's at the bottom? <laughs> Lindsay. On break. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, that is. I'm going to try to find some going. Sorry, guys. After you, like, we have to go through this quickly because we've been going for a long time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sucks. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm just gonna keep going through. I'm just, sorry, guys. We've been going a long time, so. Oh, here's one at you, Ryan. I thought you said Superman Four: Quest of Peace was your number one most hated film of all time. Well, I explained why. I'd rather watch that just because it's entertainingly fun to laugh at it. But Fant Four Stick, it's boring. Like, wouldn't you rather want to laugh than be bored? I like this question. Who do you think is a, a better villain, Arnold in, T- in Terminator One or the T one thousand in T- Terminator Two? Who's a better villain? Uh, um, the T one thousand. I mean, 1000. just all his abilities, the met, the liquid metal, just iconic. And yeah. Arnold is great too in the first Terminator. I would say T one thousand is cooler, more badass. I think Arnold's a little more scarier because his presence is creepy and it's stuff. It's a bigger presence. 
Yeah. Like when he like comes into the fucking door and like shoots her roommate and she's like, it's pretty creepy. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm looking for Santa Connor. <laughs> Santa Connor. Come with me if you want to live. Come with you if you want to live. Okay, here uh what actors do you think have been giving worse and worse performances as time goes on? Jeffrey Lawrence. <laughs> Jeffrey Lawrence, yeah. Um, I think uh I, I would say Robert De Niro, but he did The Irishman, and it was great, but he has been slacking. So, like, he was amazing in the 70s and the 80s, but, yeah. Occasionally, the, Irishman, was, the Irishman was a good performance, but not, like, top tier. No. For him. No. Um, <laughs> I think you guys are being dramatic about Jay's old videos. Oh, thank you. Though. Thank you for, oh, thank like... You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying them. Like, uh, I, if you like them, that's cool though. Like, I, I always want to entertain and do a good job. So, all right. Um, oh my god, there's so many. Damn, bro, <laughs> so fucking many. Oh my god. Oh, this is nice. Jay, I like your new thumbnails. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. You're doing custom thumbnails now. I'm not even doing them. <laughs> like uh, Lindsay, right? Lindsay's doing them. So. <laughs> Shout she out was, to Lindsay. She was sick of looking at my stuff, so she's like, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. So, yeah. Thoughts? What is this? Thoughts on Commando and Predator. Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Predator. 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 Predator is the superior film. Uh, Commando has the funnier lines, but yeah, Predator. You are one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my you god. son of a bitch. Okay, here we go. Hunter Better Notre Dame rescues down under, blah, 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 blah. So, out of the Disney Renaissance, what's your favorite? Out of the Disney. Oh, uh, you're Lion, you're Lion King. King. Hmm. Mine's Beauty and the Beast, but Lion King is number two. Mulan's great, too. That's pretty much it. What's your least favorite? Uh, Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pocahontas. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that's that. Yeah. yeah. That shit sucks. We don't even explain why. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, prisoners, Blade Runner 2049, or Arrival? Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner 2049. Second, Prisoners. Third, yeah. Arrival. Same. Both great movies. Uh, how would you rate My Neighbor Totoro? 7.5. You need haven't seen it. Yeah. They're all on Netflix now, Ryan. I thought they were all on HBO Max now. They're on Netflix, too. Uh, Jay, you should make a movie. I tried. Blame COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that would turn out. Fun fact, Biff from Back to the Future is in the Strangler, is the Strangler in the SpongeBob in the SpongeBob episode. I did not know that. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did you know they made a Christmas story too? Yes, it's awful. <laughs> I didn't know that, so that yeah. must be why. <laughs> They're making Ice Age six. Why? <laughs> oh, again, why? <laughs> why? Just like why? We don't need that. Why? 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 All right, guys, we're gonna have to probably call it. Oh, yeah. Jay, so if you were more. to create a movie, what would it? Your plot slash setting. I wanted to make a horror movie because it's more easy because it's more low budget. You can do with a horror movie, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um. All right. Here yeah. we go. Do you remember? Do you guys remember Edward Furlong? Do you remember Edward yes. Furlong? Do you remember yeah, John Connor. Yeah, John Connor. It Yo, was you see, said you were gonna kill that guy. Of course, I'm a Terminator. <laughs> He'll live. <laughs> <laughs> He was also your, American, parent, your parents are dead. <laughs> American History X, he was good in, and Detroit. Oh yeah, he was great. Detroit Rock City, great movies. Anyways, let's end it off. It's a long. Woo, story. we're done. Yeah. Woo. So Ryan, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling warm. I don't know why. Oh god. <laughs> I dare you. I dare you to answer this question. <laughs> I dare I, you. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get political. Oh, I don't want to get political. Don't do not do it then. I'll no. answer it. No, I don't. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I fucking don't. Uh, anyways, uh, so thank you, Ryan, for joining the no stream. 
but yeah, uh, tell everyone where they can find you. They they should know, but tell them anyways. Yeah, thank you, Jay, for having me on another live Q and A. It's always great to collab with you, talk movies with you, and mess around and joke around because that's what we love to do. Sweet. We're best friends. Uh, if you guys want to find me, I'm Ryan O'Toole. You've seen me do a bunch of thousand collabs with Jay Evaders, so you probably are subscribed to me and know who I am. But for those who don't, I review movies. I do classic reviews as well. I do tons of ranking videos and Blu-ray hauls of the month. But if you're interested in me talking about movies in depth, I do a podcast with Colin Williams called The Fallen for Film Podcast. Jay was on. We've done tons of episodes, and we talk lots of movies. We talk a lot. So if you're interested in that, come check me out. Like and subscribe. Damn fucking right, damn right. Always great having you and stuff. Uh, actually, I was gonna ask you one thing. Uh, uh, maybe we'll do it when the stream ends. But <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. So yep. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and you know, please like, subscribe to the channel. And what are they gonna do, Ryan? Join the light side. This time, join the light side or dark side. That, that's exactly right, Ryan. Good for you. You get a cookie. Um, no, 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 no